Hello, welcome to this video. We're going to discuss setting open search indexes to read only. Before I jump into the open search console and show you how to do this through the API commands in open search, I want to talk a little bit about why you might set an open search to read only and what that means. Open search indexes by default, you can read and write to them. There is a setting in open search where you can choose to block um, writing or make it a read only index. When you do this, any write request will throw an exception or an error and be blocked. There's different reasons why you might want to make an index read only. One reason could be you're running certain operations such as a force merge where you're purging documents marked for deleted, or there could be other reasons that you choose to do this. You can dynamically adjust whether an index is read only or not through the API. Everything I'll show you on the Open Search Console is documented in this GitHub repository. You can see here that we have the actual API commands we can run and how to set an index to read only and also how to set it back or disable the read only so that you can write again. Let's go to the Open Search dashboard and actually take a look at this. So start on the home page of Open Search and we can go to interact with the open search APIs. I'll start by running cat indices. You can see that we have an index here, sample data. We'll work with this index. And to get started, I'll just write a document to sample data, you know, hello world one. And you see that that result is created. This write succeeded. Now I'll set this index to read only. So that was successful. I set read only to true. And now if I try to write another document, hello world two, you'll see that it throws an error and it says that the index is read only. Now I can disable this. I'll set it back to false. So the read only set to false. And now I can write documents again. So let's write hello world three. Excellent. And you can see it was created. Setting read-only property on indexes is that easy. It's just a matter of running this API call. Thanks so much and hope that this tutorial helps you.